Hello, everyone, and welcome to ZCS Game Zone. I am Swiftwind, your friendly neighborhood Pegasus and tame racing driver. Um, it is Monday, April 20th, 2015, and um, we are back. This is going to be the final... Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is probably going to be the final or second of, or pen... Uh, this, this may be the final or the penultimate episode of Freelancer, depending on how that goes. But those of you live streaming, this will be the last... This will be the uh, last time we get to see Freelancer tonight, as I'm sure, um, given our current loadout, we're just going to completely obliterate the rest of the game. <laughs> wow, this has been totally worth it. But anyway, uh, let's see... Something interesting, um, something interesting that is, um, actually just interesting things that have happened. Let's start with that. Um, well, let's see, what have I done? What have I done in the past week or so? Um, well, actually most notably this weekend, I uh, went to a family reunion out of state. Um, happened to come across a couple of tanks on display outside of a, uh, small military building. Um, they really don't, they really don't care that much. I mean, uh, apparently the local kids, you know, come around, climb on the tanks and everything. So I decided to take it upon myself to do the same. So, uh, me and my girlfriend were, uh, were down there and got to see, um, actually, and this was really cool, a, um, it was a Russian 2S3 Akatsia self-propelled howitzer uh, with a 155 millimeter cannon, uh, one of only seven that was ever brought to the United States. So that was really cool. It was so cool to see such a super rare artillery piece. And um, the other one for anyone out there that plays World of Tanks was an M55 self-propelled howitzer. That massive eight inch gun the thing is just so unbelievably massive in real life. It's insane. So we got to we got we got to check those out, climb all over them. I was completely freaking out the whole time because it's just so cool to be around these forty ton machines. Just so cool. Um, but anyway, for those of you uh, for those of you who might be Mountain Dew fans, I imagine a lot of you are. We're all gamers here. Baja Blast has returned. Yes, Baja Blast has returned, and that is the good news. The bad news is, unfortunately, it's only back for a limited time, so get it while you can. Also coming back with Baja Blast, um, it, we are also revealing for the first time the, well, actually in stores for the first time, is the uh, the new Taco Bell flavor, uh, Mountain Dew Sangrita Blast. So anyway, it's enough of my yammering and uh, shenanigans. Let's go ahead and load up for the final time, Freelancer. So where we last left off, we had gone out into the wide depths of the Sirius Sector and found ourselves in a in what I believe is to be a um, a complete rip in the space-time continuum. Hi, hi. Zarsis, that's you, isn't it? You cheeky, you cheeky, cheeky guy, you. I want to say something else, but I can't. <laughs> oh. But anyway, here we are in the uh, the unknown lower system. So, from here, we, uh, let's see, we found two planets in this uh, mysterious rip in the space-time continuum. We found a planet something. We found a planet full of robots and the planet of the apes, which is where we are. We're on the planet of the apes. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we've got our class 10 Eagle Fighter. We've got some very special class 9 and class 10 weaponry, including four nomad weapons that are going to, uh, that, that consume no energy whatsoever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zarsis, you know I like it too. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, here we are, planet Gamu and planet Primus in the uh, Omega Lower System. So let's GTFO uh, immediately rushed by Nomad Fighters. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Um, the, the gate or the docking ring is going to be helping us out a little bit here. Um, as, as before, I started it, um, I started this 
Ah, dadgummit. I started doing this uh, partway through our breakaway of the, uh, the main story. Um, I started using FL Hack to make some slight modifications uh, at runtime to the game engine. I'm still, of course, utilizing that to have my uh, solid. Dadgummit! I'm still using utilizing that to have my solid. Um, ship stats down there in the bottom middle of the screen, and we've finally gotten rid of number three here. Combat fires, and dodging the incoming fire, swinging it around because the eagle has such fantastic maneuverability, and bam! That is one nomad flight scratched. Oh, taking one last look here at the, uh, unknown lower system as we pass by the yellow dwarf, the very, very distant medium green, expanding off into a uh, narrow expanse off there in the at, the at one end of the system, and then of course expanding away into infinity at the other edge of the system. Like I said, ripping the space-time continuum, I honestly believe that. So anyway, we're heading toward the jump hole that will take us back to Omicron Gamma. Holy crap, there's more nomads. I'm tired of this. I'm seriously sick and tired of these guys. That's why we're going to rip these guys a new one and just finish the story. I really don't know how much longer this is going to take. I know I know. at this point we're, we're coming up at the, uh, the penultimate part of the storyline. And there's more nomads here, too. Wonderful. And they are opening fire. I'm going to utilize some of these asteroids as cover. Making as much use of my thruster as I can. Trying to dodge the incoming fire. I may have to just cut the engines. There we go. I'm going to use the thruster to maneuver. Fail. That's it. I can't take this anymore. I'm sick and tired of these guys. I hate them. I hate them so freaking much. That's it. You want to go? Let's have a party. Come on, guys. You want it? Come and get it. That's right. I like that. Oh, and a couple of Corsairs, too. Come on, everybody join the party. Come on, everybody shoot. Everybody shoot up. Everybody shoot me up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You want this? Yeah, that's right! You want it! You want every last bit of this! Titan, I don't give a crap about you! Your chump change! I don't care about your class 10 weapons! I don't care about your ridiculous whole strength! You're mine! I eat you guys for breakfast! Come on! Yeah? You, you still not done? You still not done? Let's go! Screw you too! Titan, I don't give a crap! Your minds do not concern me! Your death does. Because that means free loot. <sighs> if those Titans seriously close in and launch a cruise disruptor, I'm going to be pissed. You have got to be kidding me! I can't even get a moment's worth of peace, can I? You guys are the worst, the absolute worst. You know, I'm so glad I didn't befriend you guys and buy one of your Titans. Because you guys are just jerks. And now, and now all you're doing is just shooting me up. For fun. For sport even. You know what? You know what? Yes. Bounty hunters. That's what you guys get. Bounty hunters. You've lost your top wing? Well, isn't that sad? Well, who's laughing now, Chucklehead? Alright. You want a piece too? Bounty hunters, I think I got this taken care of. Get out of here. Ah, you're so dead. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes, you get back to your patrol, and I'll get back to whatever the crap I was doing. Flying toward that waypoint, that's what I was doing. <laughs> this is how you deal with nomads and corsairs. You take a bounty hunter, and you take a bounty hunter, and you take a bounty hunter. That's what you do. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zarsis, I beat you to it. You know what that needs? That needs a drink of Baja Blast. Holy crap! Weapons platforms now? I'm tired of these guys. Oh. oh no, you don't! 
you engage, it will be the last thing you ever do. I promise. No, you won't. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. Those titans didn't fire. They're titans. I'm pretty sure they have cruise disruptors. What are they doing? You know what? I think they finally got the message. Dog. Eventually, eventually, when you lose a few dozen half million credit ships to the same guy in the same ship, you're gonna learn a lesson. At this point, now I'm just using the, uh, the... These Centurions are gonna stop me, aren't they? Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're preoccupied. They are! They're preoccupied with the bounty hunters. Bounty hunters are everywhere. Man. I know I've talked a little bit about the, uh, the game X-Wing Miniatures before, and I, I, I do talk about it fairly frequently, every great once in a while, because it's, it's a space thing, and it's Star Wars, and it's the part of Star Wars that I love. Quit, qu quit jerking off to the Force, and Jedi, and the Sith. I don't care about that. That's the kind of stuff I hate about Star Wars. Give me the technology, give me the ships, give me the soldiers, give me the vehicles, and blah, 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 blah. Give me all of the cool sci-fi stuff, not magic. It's not what I'm here for. But I've talked about X-Wing Miniatures a few times. And uh, I was reading some of the errata for it. And it was... One moment, please. Step into my office. I'll take care of you. Oh, please. Please, step into my office. I will be with you shortly. Titans are running! Titans be running! Small victories. It's all about small victories at this point. Anyway, I've talked about the errata for X Wing, or actually, I was reading the errata for, for some of the errata, the new, updated errata for X Wing miniatures, and uh, there was some interesting stuff in there. Some of the stuff that I thought would make perfect sense, which did not. So in the game, you've got you've got you know your little ships on the bases, and you know I've I've talked about this a little bit before. Um, <laughs> Zarsus is just being a jerk and, telling, and talking about how much he likes magic and sorcery. And his lover in the nighttime. That's, that's fair. That's fair. I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. You do that. You do that. Danger. Radiation damage detected. Radiation, the ship says. I don't buy it. Anyway. Anyway, um... If, if, if you've ever played a miniature game, you know that there are ways of measuring range. Well, in, in X-Wing miniatures, they made it real simple. <laughs> they made it real simple. Zarsus is just being a jerk, I apologize. But, <laughs> but they measure range by, like, segments. You know, range 1 is, is really close, range 2, range 3, and, you know, you get farther and farther away. Um... But one of the one of the things in there was a uh, a little a little general purpose Q and A, and one of the one of the the questions in there, one of the questions in there was um, is a ship is a sh oh my gosh are you kidding? Just give me one moment while I deal with these guys these these jerks who have so rudely interrupted my pleasant conversation. I don't like it. I don't like it when they do this. Yeah, look at that. Tractor beam failure. Ran smack dab into a mine. Don't give a crap. He was trying to run away! You've lost several... You, you've, you've lost many millions of credits worth of ships and equipment to me! By myself! Go to. I thought they would have learned. Many... I like minis. Mini donuts, mini candy bars, mini girls. Okay, maybe not mini girls. Okay, mini girls. Zarsus, you crack me up. I love it when you hang out. Um, <laughs> Captain Zog, floating in my toilet. Forgot to flush. We'll have to deal with that after this engagement with the Klingon Empire. <laughs> okay, Zarsus, you got me to say it. Are you happy now? You happy? <laughs> So anyway, one of the uh, one of the questions in this <laughs> one of the questions in this Q and A was is a is a ship 
to be considered at range one of itself. Yes. That wasn't obvious? That was not obvious? <laughs> Pardon me one moment. Hi guys! Step into my office. Once again, I'm still not I'm still not fully acclimated to the fact that I can fire my weapons indefinitely because four of my guns consume no energy. You guys want some too? You guys want some? Goodbye. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> I, I honestly don't know if I should repeat what Zarsus just said. <laughs> what we have for sale here for you today, the new and improved Not Up a Nice. I like it. So our greatest invention yet. I'm having a blast. If you don't mind me saying so. Oh, that was for me. Just for me, Zarsus. You're so nice. <clears throat> oh, good! Unknown jump gate. Good to know that my navigational computer can navigate me through jump gates that I don't know exist. Look at this. I'm heading to... My my, nav my navigational computer is heading is is pointing me towards a place with that, that apparently has a jump gate. My map hasn't registered it, but I could see it. But technically, I don't know it's there. I don't know it exists. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Unknown jump gate. There it is. Now I know it exists. Now it is on the map. Now it is on the map. I keep hitting the M. That is not the map. This is the map. <laughs> oh, more Corsairs. Look, more paying customers. And you get a death warrant. And you get a death warrant. Everyone gets a death warrant. Goodbye. Bye bye. Ooh, that mine knocks me off course a little bit. Okay, now can we continue? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I promise, Zarsus, so stick around for a while. It's gonna be a nasty blast. Burned off eight nanobots to fully repair my hull. Doc. I'm gonna speed dock this one. Doc. Close enough. So, we are headed from the edge worlds back into the border worlds. Go to. Back into Kasari space so that we can continue the mission. Let's see, where all did we just come from? <laughs> it was not a f it was in fact not a phantom blast. It was a mine that had a very violent explosion. <laughs> Let's see. Sigma 17, we were there. Omicron theta, we were there. Omicron gamma. So I went from from below Rhineland all the way around the edge worlds all the way back up to the very other edge of the Sirius sector back into Kasari space. So that's that's what happens. Around the planet, please. The ship is smarter than it looks. That Legionnaire is still closing in. Is he a paying customer? No, he is not. Alright. I think we're in a... Yes, we are still in a Sigma system. Sigma 19. Ooh! Let's go visit Hawaii! The luxury liner, Hawaii. Hmm. What do we have here? Wow. 
That was very descriptive. Dog. Roger that. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock one. We're gonna visit the luxury liner Hawaii. This is luxury liner Hawaii. Ow, ow, ow. Not that I didn't just plow into him for a moment before docking. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, while I'm here, let's go ahead and uh, get some repairs done. Uh, to my, to, to my basically everything. Repair complete. And it looks like we've got some more stuff to sell off. Yes, there's an Angelito, there's a Salamanca. Our massive, massive collection of prototype weapons. Another Salamanca Mark II. There's my Archangels, Guardian, blah, 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 blah. A Wasp Cruise Disruptor, no interest whatsoever. Some missiles, some mines. Uh, yeah, definitely no better shields here, although we should stock up on nanobots Loaded and shield batteries before we depart. Hole. That would be very wise to do. Loaded into cargo hole. <laughs> Sorry, sis, you're always a paying customer. So, let's go to the commodity trader and get rid of some of this. Hello! Some niobium, some silver, some pharmaceuticals. Look at that! Look at that! 1.3 million credits we're setting at now. This is a very nice place to be. I wonder if there's any drinks at the bar. Can we get some drinks, please? Hi! Top of the day. So, Top of the morning to ya! What I need is some info. You got anything? You're a newcomer, aren't you? Uh, you bet. Can we skip the pleasantries, please? You know, you're... For a small contribution of 19,500 credits, can put in a good word for you with the rest of Orbital Spot Cruise Lines. You should know that groups like the Outcast, the Guyans, and the Xenos might like down our little transaction. You know what? I don't care about you. What's in the news? All the news. Oh, good. The cleanup of Sigma 13 is, is on schedule. What in the world are they talking about? Oh! Oh! The company still hopes to meet its target completion date for the cleanup of the old Rhineland Navy relics left over from the 80-year war. That's right, because Sigma-13 is completely littered with, um... It, it, the, the most of the system is just a debris field, as we've seen before, but, you know, whatever. Let's... Freelance why is there a waypoint before the waypoint? Quit! Buffing! Good luck out there. Quit bashing my ship! I don't appreciate it! Oh, it's because it's a jump, jump, no, not jump gate, not jump hole, trade lane, that's because it's a trade lane, that's why, but that's okay, it's only 20 kilometers away, not too far of a trip, I can see my shield generator from here, there it is, right out the top, like, little, 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 little thing, cutie patootie, probably should not have said that. Cause here come the Corsairs. Somehow they know when I'm trying to have fun. Oh no. Where are you going? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> hey there, Sources. Good of you to actually join me instead of hiding behind a mask like you usually do. Pop! Pop goes the spacecraft! <laughs> Alright! Let's continue on with our thing! <laughs> our thing, getting in the swing, doing something. Yeah, I know, it's what you do. <laughs> oh. Yes, they do call me Space Cowboy. Warning. Some may Space even say I'm a dandy guy reduced. in space. All right, six kilometers away from the trade lane. <sighs> Not that it matters, but I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately. Gotten some very rare crap. Done a lot of trading. Oh, come on, it's not a fail. Zarsus, go watch Space Dandy. Everybody go watch Space Dandy. After the stream. After the stream, everybody go watch Space Dandy. Just like flood the internet, space dandy everywhere. Just space dandy all of the things. That's that's all that matters. All that matters. Gotta catch them all. I'm fully I'm fully aware that Zarsus is saying stuff to me that's like twenty percent that's like twenty seconds ago. It's funny. 
Because that means I can go back and revisit stuff that I've already talked about. It means I get to say things. I don't get to talk a lot. I know I'm a tame racing driver, and racing drivers never have anything intelligent to say. So it's nice when I actually do get to talk. Dog. <laughs> yes, Mazars has said. Space Dandy. All day, every day. Just everything. Okay, where the crap are we now? We are in Honshu. I forgot what this place looked like. Ha! <laughs> uh, pop! Got, got my little pop gun. That goes pop. It does stuff. That's right, I did do that. I did do that last week, didn't I? I decided I, I had two I had two class nine weapons and I swapped them out for a different a different pair of class nine weapons, sacrificing a little bit of DPS so that everything is moving or so that all of my projectiles are moving at the same speed. Okay, so Honshu. Not going to Honshu? Go to Then where the crap are we going? Shinagawa. I am very much located in space. All the time. Dog. You don't even know. Yukawa Shipyard. You know what I really like? Those, um... Those... Dog. Those, uh, expansion mods for Freelancer that actually make the shipyards actual shipyards where you can buy capital ships. That's cool. This... This is going to be cool in its own way, because this is not vanilla, but it's almost vanilla. It, it, it is vanilla with the rules, some of the rules, thrown out the window. You're level 14? Come buy our level 30 ship. You got money? We got your ship. Bad credit? No credit? No problem. As long as you got credits. All right. Dega Mazarsis. <laughs> you're making me want to grab another you're making me want to grab uh, one of my busy drinks. I actually I actually legit I actually have a chocolate soda in the fridge right now. Chocolate soda. I was um me and my girlfriend were out this weekend. We took a couple of road trips this weekend. Uh, one we went, uh, we, we took one partway across the state. It was a couple hour drive. It was kind of like a day trip. Uh, me and her, a couple friends of ours, we went, uh, Blood Dragons. One moment. Hello! Goodbye. Hello! Goodbye. These guys are so much easier to deal with now. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. <laughs> Dog. But anyway, anyway, one of our road trips that we took this weekend was uh, to a place called Hastings. If you've never been, I highly recommend you go. We've got all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, if I if I could describe if I could describe it to if if, if if I could try and describe it to someone who's never been to to a Hastings before, it's a little bit like. It's a little bit like a Think Geek. It's a little bit like Think Geek at a Barnes and Noble because they've got books and stuff like that too and music. But it's kind of like a Think. It's kind of like ThinkGeek.com meets Barnes and Noble, and it's a retail store. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we went there, and um, Zarsis is just trying to screw with me. I know he is. Doc. Always does. But anyway, we went there. And then we went to uh, this gas station called Pops. If you've never heard of Pops, totally awesome. If you've got one nearby, absolutely got to go to it. But basically, the big thing about Pops is that they've got like they've got like hundreds of different kinds of soda there. In just about any flavor you can in just about any flavor you can imagine. Um, as an example of just how wild and crazy some of this stuff is, uh, one of the other sodas, one of the other sodas that I got. Okay, I know you're operating the station, but shut up and trying to talk. Okay, anyway, I wish she would shut up. Anyway, anyway, uh, one of the other flavors I got there was apple pie. 
Uh, we also got a, um, a, a, uh, fudge brownie dough flavor. Uh, one of the flavors I saw there, didn't pick it up because I don't like it, but one of the flavors that I did see there was, um, it was called Dragon's Drool. It was a black licorice. Uh, I was like, it's so cool. So freaking cool, but just hundreds of different kinds of sodas, and they're like, and and they've got all these different Prepare. kinds of sodas. And they sell them for like two bucks a pop, so you can just get like a couple of six packs and just fill them up with whatever. Completely awesome. So that was something else that we did yesterday. So thank you, Zarsis, for making me want to go get my chocolate soda. Thanks. Um. All right, what did we pick up? Some oxygen, some scrap metal, some water. We also picked up a little bit of equipment worth a little bit of scratch. We're not talking big money here, but not in this system anyway. Whoa, do not sell that. I want to hang on to those prototypes. I love them. I love all of them. I like I like just having a collection. Dagummit is like Pokemon. I like just having collections. I could equip that turret, but I don't care. I've got enough firepower. I got firepower for days. <laughs> you came. Yeah, I was starting to wonder if we were partners That's literally anymore. what she said. I just had to dig a little deeper than I thought. Trent, I heard from Lord Hakira. He says that the Proteus Tome and all of the museum artifacts have now come under the personal control of Governor Takagi. Hakira can't help us. What do you mean? That's why we came. You have to understand Kasari customs. Hakira is a lord. His position gives him power, but it also limits him. There's only so much he can do before he violates his station. Anyway, I'm on to something, but you're gonna have to trust me on this one. If we do this, we do it together, understand? Are you in? Bounce, bow wow. I'm sorry! I am absolutely not in my right mind! Left, right? I, I am not in my right I am not in my right mind tonight. Just just like half of that entire cutscene was innuendo in my ears. Ah, so funny. <laughs> That's literally what she said. Like five times of that cutscene. Let's do it. Why not? I've come this far, haven't I? <laughs> Thank you. Ozu, this is Trent, the man I told you about. Ah, uh, Mr. Trent. Junko speaks highly of you. Please, sit. Thanks. Since Junko's departure to liberty, many things have changed here. The old ways are dying out as we become more of a melting pot of cultures. Do you understand? I think I do. The one thing that has not changed is the face of treachery. It is something that we have fought for many generations. Ozu is a lieutenant in the Blood Dragons, a counter-political group that opposes the Shogun. The reason Oops. the Blood Dragons have survived is because of our ability to adapt and change, to outmaneuver the stronger opponent. This would not be possible without carefully nurtured relationships, Mr. Trent. Which brings me to you. I am told that you and the Order seek a certain artifact. That's right, the Proteus Tome. It's fallen under the control of Governor Takagi. Yes, Takagi. He has been acting strangely, even for him, since his return from Rhineland. Our sources now say that there is a secret transport being loaded with these artifacts, bound from Takagi, back to the Chancellor. We believe the Proteus Tome is one of those on board. How much time do we have? Little. Particularly since Takagi himself may be on that transport. He's defecting? We believe so. With an offering to his new lord and master, the Chancellor. Our vendetta with Takagi is an old one. Unfortunately, we may have only this one last opportunity to repay him for his crimes. Mr. Trent, here is what I propose. You and the Order shall have what you desire if you help rid us of Takagi. Trent, Takagi is a traitor to his people. He deserves to die. Do us this service. Agreed. Excellent. We leave at once. All right, good, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Zarsis both just like Freelance that's what she Alpha said. That's what she said. Like every five seconds. To go for launch. Good flying. The only Mr. thing Trent, they can make. We will take the trade lane from here to the Honshu Gate. Coordinates received. Trent, take point. My sources tell me that Takagi's transport is currently docked at the Yukawa shipyard in Honshu. It is heavily guarded. Apparently, they are taking additional cargo on board. Is it the tome? That is very possible. Yukawa is a Kishiro base. 
and Takagi owns a large portion of that organization. Okay, can I talk now? I think it's safe to talk now. Wait, wait, we're coming out of a trade lane. Probably not. We are not going through the jump gate, Mr. Trent. Blood Dragon fighters are awaiting us at a nearby jump hole. I'm uploading the coordinates. Why are we taking a jump hole? Takagi is a powerful man, Junko. He has spies everywhere. If we want to have a chance to capture the transport, we need to take them by surprise. Because surprise is best? I'm not going to fill in the blanks there, but I think you know what I mean. Once again, this is becoming slightly uneventful. We need to get going quicker. The music is pretty chill, though. I do like that. There they are! We have you in range. Standing by for orders. Enter formation and follow us to the jump hole. Entering formation. Set course for the jump hole. Only three ships? The Blood Dragons are small in numbers, Junko. But they are the best fighter pilots in the colonies. So, uh... Ozu... Ozu doesn't know how many of his guys I've killed so far, right? 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 There is the jump hole, Mr. Trent. Please go first. Bounce the bow out. Dark. <laughs> Report. The transport is still docking with Yukawa, Ozu Sensei, but it looked like they were about to leave. I counted multiple heavy weapon platforms and strong fighter protection. It won't be easy. We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. Yes, run, run, What's run. What's plan? We have to hit them quickly and decisively. First, we target the weapon platforms, and then the fighter escorts. How do we get to the transport? We have a strike force positioned on Yukawa that will seize control of the transport. Once we've eliminated the fighters, our people will fly the transport out of there. This could be the quickest Understood. operation ever. The nebula will cover us most of the way, but the final approach will be in open space. We will yeah, have to yes. fly as fast as possible before the scanners detect us. Every second will count. Gotta go fast. But we're already 10 kilometers away, so, eh, whatever, who cares? I think go ahead and target one of the weapons platforms, the close one. There is the shipyard. Is everybody ready? Yep. Dragon 1, ready to engage. Dragon 2, ready. I'm ready, Ozu. Our first targets are the weapon platforms. All ships, engage. I'm gonna kill him with the We have lost over. a fighter. We need to cover each other. The first platform is gone. Quickly, take out the other one. We're taking heavy fire from its turrets. The second platform is down. Also to strike team. Operation is a go. All ships take out the escort fighters. Done. One of their fighters is down. Engage the other fighters. Another escort fighter destroyed. Hold on. I have a report from the strike team. They cut the Takagi's men off guard and have them pinned down. Got another one. <laughs> this is so quick! Crap, where'd he go? He just had him. To all ships, the strike team has successfully taken over the transport. Come on. Disengage and protect the transport. No, I got this. Strike team, what is your status? We lost two of our men, Sensei, but it was worth it. The cargo pods are full of gold, diamonds, and thousands of artifacts. So quick! Excellent. Proceed into the nebula. Come on! Come on! Do I have to enter formation? I really don't want to. That was so freaking fast! Like, just walk in, everything dies, walk out. So simple. So stupidly simple. This is gonna be a very quick, this is gonna be a very quick run of the story. I can do this 
take forever. Any day now! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I want to just... Just one shot into his engines. Get going! Why are we moving... Why are we moving so slow? Give more power to the engines! Isn't that what they kept yelling at me before I started this journey? They listened. Screw and you. Transport. You're no good to me. Yet you are no good to me alive! Alright. We're moving out. Going somewhere. Again. Let's see. So I'm currently worth over 3 million credits. That's nice. Three battleships killed? We can change that tonight. We can change that. 33 systems visited. 39 bases visited. 42 jump holes found. Total kills 662. Warning. Sensor efficiency reduced. I think that's pretty cool. Four hostiles dead ahead, Sensei. Junko, Mr. Trent, we have to destroy these fighters before we jump. Got it. Understood. Come on, Trent. So quick and easy. Uh, I can't. I, I cannot. I I cannot believe how much simpler this is. Once again, heading towards an unknown object. I feel like I should have something to snack on. I'm getting a little hungry. But now is not the time for that. Now is the time to be doing this. Going out there and killing things. Shugoku. Okay. Shugoku Jump Hall, which I've probably already explored most, if not all, of the system because, uh, reasons. I won't go into detail. I won't. But suffice it to say that, uh, it was good time. <laughs> Waiting and waiting, and here we are. Wee! Dog. Bam! Out of there. Identify yourself, or you will be destroyed. Shut up. This is Lieutenant Ozu. Stand down, patrol. We have captured Takaki's transport and are escorting it back to Kyoto as ordered. Okay. Yes, Sensei. We are almost there. Junko, Mr. Trent, follow me. I have the coordinates. Trent, you take the lead. Where are we going? To Kyoto. Kyoto? Trent, that's the legendary home of the Blood Dragons. I don't know anyone who's ever seen it. Ozu, you honor us. Ta-da! honor is ours. And here we are. Dog. Out of place. Here we will celebrate our victory over Takagi and Edo. Here you shall receive what you came for. I will see you shortly. See you shortly, he says. Wait. That's offensive. Been a while since we've been here. Massive asteroid base. Lieutenant Ozu, this is amazing. How long have the Blood Dragons been here in this asteroid? Several generations. With Takagi eliminated, the Edo Shogunate is weaker, and our victory is near. Pardon me, Lieutenant. Excuse me. Tell me, 
Always How been. How long have you known Ozu? You mean was he always a radical in the Blood Dragons? No. When I knew him, he was to be a promising political student at the Kusari Academy. What happened? People are changed by their world, Trent. Rarely vice versa. Ozu's living proof of that. Yeah. I'm afraid we have been deceived. This was the right shipment, but we have neither the artifacts nor Takagi. He was not on the transport as we were led to believe. Something has changed. So what do we do now? I will make the necessary inquiries. For now, I suggest that you occupy yourselves with whatever diversions we can offer. Well, I can't just sit here. Maybe the Blood Dragons could use a little help. Joining the ranks of the radical left? I'm not on assignment anymore, Trent. I get to see how the other side lives. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to get out there for a while, either. Maybe take some missions. From the sound of things, it may be a while. Don't worry. I'll let you know when we hear something. Which is going to be right now. Watch. <laughs>